humans, and welcome to another episode of the Cartridge and Disc Podcast. This is your Gen X Gamer here, and thank you for joining me on another morning ride and some random thoughts. You know, I thought we'd we'd expand the conversation here because uh, you know a lot of it also has to do with video games as far as writing and characters and all this stuff. And there's been a lot of discussion with my friends, especially Hispanic friends, and all this, uh, uh, you know, writing and strikes and all this stuff that's going on in Hollywood, and why nobody gives a shit. We don't give a shit, okay? None of my friends care, right? Uh, Why don't we care? Is it the attitude of these people uh, that you have, you know, uh, they consider themselves uh, cultural elites, right? Telling us what is good and what isn't when it comes to, you know, Hollywood and movies and stuff. And and it's just shitty writing. Anybody can see it's pathetic. Reskinning characters is lazy writing. Absolutely lazy. And whether they produce it or not or whoever's decision it is, the creativity just isn't there. Let me tell you guys, last interesting Hispanic character that I can rem- that I can remember uh, wasn't even Hispanic. It was Nacho Libre. <laughs> but the good thing about that movie, it's actually based on a Mexican script. That's right. It's based on a Mexican script of an of a wrestler that was wrestling for his orphanage. That's what the boom- movie's based on, and it pays an homage to that. You know, but they got it from there. And there's many scripts, many stories, many books in uh, Latin America, in Spain, Mexico, I mean, wherever you want to go, in any nationality, if you want to make the character black, there's great uh, African literature, right? There's, it doesn't matter, you pick the country, there's stories there to tell that have already been written that you can develop scripts for. I don't give a shit that Snow White's going to be Hispanic. No, you, you want to interest the public? Here you go, make one of uh, Talia's novelas into a movie. Then you get something, right? She still looks pretty good, by the way. <laughs> Let me give you an example. Right? Let's say you want to make another action movie. You can go back to the well, look at these wrestling movies. The most famous wrestler uh, in Mexico was El Santo, right? And just imagine this, a wrestler with a dad bod. Sound familiar? Right? That's where the, that's why Nacho Libre looked the way he looked, because a lot of the great wrestlers in Mexico, they all had dad bods. They weren't really muscular. <laughs> the bad guys usually would be the ones that looked more toned. But anyway. So El Santo was a guy that wore the mask all the time. He would wear it when he was wrestling, he would wear it on the street, he would wear it everywhere. He could go incognito, you know, nobody knew what he looked like, but he was such a good wrestler that they started making movies on him. And the scripts, let me tell you, <laughs> if you wanted an action comedy, you could do something like Rush Hour. Let me give you the breakdown here. So this guy with the mask, El Santo, the greatest wrestler of all time, is recruited by Interpol <laughs> so he can fight crime and terrorism on his spare time, right? And that's what he does. He's not only fighting terrorism, he's fighting organized crime. He eventually fights Dracula, (laughs) aliens. I mean, he's doing everything. (laughs) And not only that, he's got a sidekick, but not just any sidekick. No, no, no. His sidekick is uh, a man that on his spare time, besides, you know, wrestling and fighting crime, he's a cross between uh, Ric Flair and Rick James. <laughs> he can't stay away from alcohol and the baddies. He loves it. He loves it, right? They always get in trouble because this dude's always sleeping with everybody. Usually, <laughs> he sleeps with a bad guy's daughter, which makes the... The bad guy even more mad really wants to kill him afterwards, right? Sleeps with his wife, sleeps with his daughter, whatever, right? So 
all kinds of fun ensues, of course, right? And, you know, the stories you can tell of some guy that's out of shape <laughs> that decides to go kick an ass throughout the world because Interpol told him so, along with Ric Flair, right? And it's always the same thing, you know, the, the Santos like a Boy Scout. This dude's honorable, you know, he does have his love interest here and there, you know, but they're usually quote-unquote normal, right? Not like the aliens that his buddy shows up with, right? He's always, you know, he goes to bed early, right? Because he knows he has an early day tomorrow. He's got to go fight crime right after his wrestling match, right? So maybe he'll go home tired because he just beat the shit out of 20 guys. And right as he's getting ready for bed, his buddy... <laughs> It's just getting started. He's just getting, he's getting dressed to go out. <laughs> and then he gets, you know, then he gets up early to to go fight crime. <laughs> and his buddy's just getting home. <laughs> Hung over his hell. <laughs> and then he's got to go out with this guy. So you can see how you could have a, <laughs> a just a fun situation here, right? And and uh there's many other stories, guys. There's many other scripts. There's a golden era of Mexican theater, right? Of Mexican movies. There's so many great stories out there to tell in context of the culture. Let me tell you, there is nothing, absolutely nothing Hispanic about Snow White. Not a goddamn thing. Right? Nothing. But there's plenty of... of uh, Hispanic culture in Marimar, for example, or any novela that you want to make into a script, or any luchador story movie, or many of the other great stories told by the, the golden era of Mexican television, of Hispanic television, of Spanish from Spain uh, movies. There's so many great scripts, guys. And the laziness, the crap that we see come out of Hollywood wrapped as quote unquote Hispanic is watered down it really is it really has no basis in reality to what Hispanics actually enjoy what they remember as their heritage what we know is good movies you know and unfortunately for a lot of Hispanic Americans here they've never gotten to see it because it's not really promoted but there have been some great stories, absolutely great stories, not only of drama, not only of romance, but even of horror that have been told throughout the years. And so those are some of the stories we would like to see. If maybe they, they brought some of those to the screen, people would give a shit. But nobody gives a shit about this new Snow White. No one. Who's excited for Black Beetle? No. Now, you know, make a story in El Chapulín Colorado or, you know, one of the great shows that we've had that we've enjoyed for so many years. Do one of those. Let me tell you, those are great stories that are waiting to be told. But it's not ever going to be told if Hollywood keeps on going the way it's going. It's going to be the same thing. We don't give a shit about anything that they're doing. We don't. And you see it at the box office. Look what happened with the Eternals. Right? If everybody's a superhero, nobody's special. It's just lazy, guys. It's just lazy. That's why nobody cares. All right, guys. If you ever get a chance, go on YouTube and go watch El Santo. You'll have a chuckle. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.